In this tutorial, I will be introducing you to the tag button. The tag button is right here on the toolbar. And when you click on it, it allows you to reference items that have already been entered into the database for this upper left section up here. So any of the inspection details that involve the client's name, the property address, real estate agents, uh, fees that might have been charged to your customer, uh, payment information, even title company information. Uh, and in addition, there's even a custom tag area. We will talk about that in a um, advanced tag uh, tutorial. But for right now, we're basically talking about these other uh, frequently used items that most all reports have um, associated with them this same uh, general report information. So once again, we're, we're going to come down to cover page. Let's do that. And I've actually inserted a picture here of the front of the house, of this house that was just inspected. And what you would typically do here is you would insert a tag. Now, of course, this would normally be in your template, but I'm going to show you how to do it. So this particular report uh, doesn't have it in it yet. So I'm putting the cursor right below the picture. I'm going to click the tag button. I'm going to go down to the property address. And I'm going to, there's a lot of different options here. So I'm just going to choose address line one, the full street number and street name. It's going to insert that in here below. I'm then going to hit the enter key. Let me bring this up a little bit so you can see what I've done. I think it was off the screen there. Sorry about that. So as you can see, we have inserted a tag here. Now I'm going to put another one down here underneath it. Hit the Enter key. Let's bring in for the property, city, state, and zip. And by the way, if you look at this tag drop-down, you can bring in the inspector information, license number, phone information, email, company information, uh, anything about the client, which of course could be a different address than the property. Um, we have those custom fields we were talking about. You can bring those in. Information about the report itself can be brought in. Report number, the inspection date and time. Um, and these are going to be covered in probably the, um, the advanced tutorial, but this has to do with the automatic summary if you want to use one of those. Um, and we can also bring in information from uh, RTF files if you want to do that as well. But and we'll go into that in the advanced tutorial. So uh, here we have these items we just inserted. If we click on the printer icon and we go to preview, that's going to cause this report to be generated. And pay attention to these tags right here. We have our audit alert. Here is the cover page for our report. You'll notice that the address, I did not enter that. It was on the uh, inspection details area up in the top left. General report information area I was telling you about. Um, probably want to center this pit or bring this picture down a little bit. It's a little high on the page, but we can certainly do that. What you'll notice is as we scroll down here and look at this report, this particular template uh, gave us an invoice page, which uh, you don't have to have, but if you do use an invoice, uh, this is a perfect example of how a tag can help you. Once again, if we look back at the top, you can see the um, address for the property, which I did not enter. The tag did it for us. Here's the address again on the invoice and the customer's name, along with your uh, company information up at the top keep scrolling down. Here's the actual first page of the, the actual inspection report. Also, which has the company uh, name, the uh, inspector's the inspector's name, the uh, property address, and the client's name. So tags can save you a lot of um, duplication. Anytime you're entering a customer's name or an address or anything that's uh, considered like the general report information, 
more than once, you are wasting your time. A computer program should be taking care of that for you. And that's exactly what Whisper Reporter is doing. So the tags are very uh, powerful in that sense. And you should use them uh, wherever you feel that you need that information populated into your report. Put them in your template. Uh, they could even be put in headers or footers. Uh, I know a number of people that do that as well. So, um, of course, as we go down, we'll just have a bunch of uh, report information here. But um, that's the way the tags work. So that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.